Hi everybody, it's Kathy Andes with Simply Cards by Kathy, and it's Friday, June the 3rd, 2022, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. We are going um, for um, Friday Fun at One, we're going to make a fun fold, and those are one of my favorite types of cards. I absolutely love them, and one of the stamp sets we're going to use to do this is Catch You Later. And Catch You Later is from the uh, January to June mini catalog. And this catalog is retiring at the end of the month. And um, Catch You Later is on page 63. And it has these cute, I don't know, I call them whimsical um, images that I really love because they allow you to make some really fun cards. Now today, while I'm not really focusing as much on the stamp set, I do want to show you how to make um, an accordion fun fold. And here's one that I made ahead of time using this stamp set. It's the image with the uh, cat and the fish. And the paper that I used for this was the Design a Daydream. And if you open up the fun fold, it folds out like an accordion. And you have your inside greeting behind the folds. And then you can add an image or whatever you want to here. So today we're going to make this fun fold. And while it looks like it might be complicated, it's really easy. So I'm going to work with you on that. And we're just going to bring in our trimmer and start um, crafting. So I'm going to bring my trimmer in. And I hope you can hear me and see me well. I am using a new camera setup. So if you hear me and see me well, I would love if you'd leave me a comment and let me know. We are going to start off with an eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock. And we are going to cut it to five and a half by 11. Now this is a fun fold I've learned from Jackie Boheis. Let me flip this around. And um, I just love, uh, love this one. So we're going to go up here, we're going to trim five and a half by 11, and we're going to save this because we're going to need a piece of that. And then I'm going to pull my um, cutter, my blade down, and we're going to start scoring. And there's quite a few score lines on this. So the first one is going to be at one and three quarters. So we're going to go ahead and I go over it three or four times. Next score is at three and a half. So let's score that one. The third one is at five and a quarter. And again, don't you don't have to write these down or remember all these. They are going to be right down below the video in my post about an hour after the video is over. And then I'm going to open the arm on my um, a trimmer and we're going to score the next one at seven. So let's do that. Okay, so there's our piece of cardstock folded. Now, we need another piece, and it's three um, by six. And when we trimmed, we trimmed off just the perfect amount. So this piece that's left over is three inches wide, and we are going to cut it down to uh, six. And that's a spare piece. And then we are going to score this one at three. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we can get rid of our trimmer. Okay, so to fold these, we're going to put the small, and you can see these, we're going to put the um, many folds to the left. And this one, you always want to fold into the hill. So this is going to get folded back, and I'm going to take my bone folder, and I just want to give it a good uh, burnishing so I have a nice crease. Okay, then we are going to start folding back um, with the top fold. So this one, fold in and burnish it. The next one, we're going to fold. 
turn it and fold and we're going to burnish this one. I'm going to turn it over to burnish it. Now this one gets folded back and I'm going to go in here and just burnish it. And the last one is already folded for us. So here's your accordion fold card. Isn't that cute? So with this, because these are all one and three quarter, uh, were they one and three quarter inches? They are. We're going to cut designer series paper. And I already did that to save us some time. And I used um, the Happy Forest Friends, which is in our new annual catalog. And I cut uh, four pieces. The strips are one and a half by, um, what are they? One and a half by five and a quarter. And we're going to go ahead and adhere those. And I'm going to pull out my glue because the glue allows me to slide things around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And we're just going to start adhering. And one of the reasons that I chose this paper was because I'm, I want to use the monkeys. Um, and I just thought the paper was perfect with the leaves for the monkeys. So we're going to go ahead and let's, um, I'm going to pull out my silicone mat so I don't get ink all over everything. And we're just going to add some um, glue to this. And let's adhere them. I hope you have some fun plans for this weekend. Um, we will be busy. Our granddaughter graduated last evening from high school. And um, we have her graduation party on Sunday. And we're just so proud of her. It's hard to believe she's 18 years old. But time does fly by. <laughs> So let's do our next one. Now, remember that um, I said that this is in the uh, June to, or January to June mini catalog. And this catalog is retiring. So they have posted the retired list. Um, so many of these stamp sets or um, bundles may be on sale anywhere from 20 to 50% off. So if, if there's um, some things that you were still hoping to get from that catalog, now's the time to do it because once they're sold out, they're sold out. And people tend to take advantage of those sales. So now if you um, go over to my website, I will have just click up at the top link. I do have a list of the uh, products, the retired or last chance products list for you there. And it's kind of been reformatted so that it's a little easier to read. And um, I've, it's been narrowed down to just the stamp sets that are in English. So here's our papers. We'll fold that up and now um, we are going to take this three by six piece and again fold into the hill and we'll burnish that. Now this is going to attach like this on the outside fold and then on the inside fold. So what I want I did is I cut a piece of um, designer series paper and it's actually the back of um, what you see on the folds. This is the piece um, that I used from the Happy Forest Friends and I just cut the back piece because it seemed to match well. Now when you're uh, adhering your piece of designer series paper you want to make sure that you flip the fold so that it's to the right hand side because it's going to attach like this. And my designer paper is going on the back because my stamped image and greeting are gonna go on the front. So we're gonna adhere this one. There we go. And we're gonna um, set this off to the side for a minute. 
And I'm going to bring in my uh, two and three quarters by two and three quarters inch piece um, for my stamping. And I'm going to bring in my little monkeys. I already have them um, on my block. And I'm actually going to move them down a little bit. This was one stamp set I had that I really had not used much. Um, in fact, I'd only used it once, and I love it because it's so versatile and it has so many greetings on it, from happy birthday to I'll always be here for you and you're, hey there. So um, I wanted to make use of it. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to, hopefully my head isn't in the way with this new camera setup, and just stamp my little monkeys. And that's how they're going to go. <laughs> so we're going to set that off to the side and we're going to, actually I don't like the way they stamped, it's smudged a little bit. So let's flip that over and try that again. Sometimes I press too hard and um, I cause the stamp to move. Let's turn them around again. I'm just going to stamp down and lift straight up. That looks much better. So let's go ahead and we're going to color these in. And um, I brought in crumb cake and I brought in old olive because old olive is... Um, Actually, I brought, yeah, Old Olive and Mossy Meadow are the two greens in this cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead in and with my dark, and again, um, when I use my Stampin' Blends, I'm pretty light-handed. Um, and I typically go in one direction. Um, when you're using the basic white cardstock, if you go back and forth, you may notice some pilling. Um, I don't like that effect on my cards, um, as I'm sure no one does. So I either use the heavy card stock um, for that, or I use the uh, white um, shimmer paper. Works out wonderfully for that and gives you a little extra um, bling or shimmer to it. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to use crumb cake and I'm going to use my dark first. And I'm just going to go around and give it some color. Now, um, if you don't have a uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator or a catalog, please go on over to my website and hit the contact me button and send me a um, an email and I will be more than happy to get a um, catalog in the mail to you. For those of you that are my customers, the um, new July to December mini catalog is in the mail to you and that may take up to about three weeks for you to get. So be patient, but it's on its way. Now again, when I use my um, blends, you can see I do go over it, but I go over it in one direction. I don't go back and forth to try to avoid that pilling. And I'm going to do his face just a little bit darker here around the edges. I hope you have some fun plans for this weekend. Um, I hope it includes some time for crafting. Um, okay, let's do the other little guy here and we're gonna give him a little bit more color. I love our Stampin' Blends because they allow you to uh, really um, be creative.
creative and um, use your blends to um, create some really unique images and some really pretty coloring. I love to color and um, I think the blends are one of my favorite ones to use um, because they don't leave any lines and um, everything just kind of like it says blends in together and um, it just looks so natural for the coloring. So I'm just pulling down to pull my color in. I'll let it dry for a minute because it does change as it dries. And then I can go back over and make it a little darker or pull it in a little bit more. Let's make sure we didn't forget anything here. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here with my um, greeting, Hey There, and we're going to do that in our Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And I just want to stamp down and make sure it's straight because, um, whoops, I don't do anything straight on my own. So I have to use my grid paper often to line things up. And I'm just going to stamp this over here in the corner. And then we're going to adhere this onto the front of this small 3 by 6 um, card. So let's pull our glue in. And you can see when we turned it over, um, when I wasn't happy with that, Okay, now we want to adhere this to the outside of the card. So you only want to put glue on, on a small portion of this. So I'm going to just run some glue along the edge and I'm going to close my card and I'm going to put it just about in the middle and I'm eyeballing it and I'm going to press it down. Now the multi-purpose glue works great. If tear and tape is another one that would work really well. Now we're going to do the same thing at this side and we're going to adhere it to here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to keep my accordion fold folded down and then just press into it. Here we are. So here's part of our card. And now we have a three and three quarters by five and a quarter inch piece of white for the inside. And for my greeting for the inside, I'm just going to um, stamp, I love hanging around with you. And we're going to go back to using our um, Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And again, I'm going to test this to make sure it's straight. Eh, let's try that again. We'll clean it off. And let's see what we get. And that looks pretty good. So now I'm okay to stamp it. So I always make sure my paper, and that's why I use the grid paper. Um, and I'm going to stamp over to the left and down a little bit because I want it hidden behind here. So let's go ahead and we're going to adhere this now to the inside. Let's open this up. And I think I'm going to bring in my matte black dots and we're going to put uh, three little dots that hay there. So let's go with the small ones. And I'm going to use my little spatula here. So 
So let's move this away. And here's our card. Hey there, I love hanging around with you. So now you can use another stamp set and stamp in some leaves. You can even take another piece of designer series paper and run it along the edge. I like it plain. It also gives me a lot of room to write a personalized note. So here's our two cards. The accordion folds um, using the uh, Catch You Later stamp set. One with our monkeys and one with our um, cat and fish. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up and help me grow my YouTube channel. And then if you go up and click on that little bell and highlight it, you'll be notified when I do videos. I am on live on Monday nights at 7 p.m. and then Friday fun at 1. So I hope you'll join me again. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you again, hopefully, on Monday. Have a great day.